The Spectra SP80 is a GNS receiver and it can be connected with the Land Survey app Aplos Survey Wizard. In this video we will explain how to connect the Spectra SP80 with Aplos Survey Wizard. After following all the steps in this video you will be able to GPS survey accurate and in a simple way. So let's start now. To make a connection between Aplos Survey Wizard and the Spectra SP80 we need to turn the GNS receiver on. Let's push it by pushing this red button till the light turns on and then we have to wait a little bit. So now the GNS receiver is on, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the SP80 has the right settings. On this right side there are two buttons and with the top button we can switch through the menu because we have to turn the Wi-Fi on. So we click on it and click on it till we click on it that the Wi-Fi can be turned on and then we click on the bottom one this is Wi-Fi being turned on and now Wi-Fi is on and now we can go to the next step and configure the SP80 and now we will configure the Spectre SP80 with Applos Config Wizard. You can download this app for free in the Google Play Store. The link is down in the description. So on the start screen we can just click OK and there is the Wi-Fi network of the SP80. It's called SP80 and then there's a number. So we can click on it and then we go to the next step and we have to select the Spectra and SP80. After that we can click OK and then it asks for the Wi-Fi password. The Wi-Fi password is the same as the serial number and the serial number of the SP80 is here on the bottom of the GNS receiver so we can just look it up and fill it in. In my case it is 5432900039 and then we can click OK and it will go to find the Wi-Fi. Sometimes it will ask for a username or password and then you can fill it in. Uh, the normal username is admin and the normal password is password. And now we have to go to the in and output to make sure that the configuration of the SP80 is correct. And then we have to go to the menu and we click input setup and output messages. Here we have to select Bluetooth C and we want NMEA messages so that's correct. This one is already set up well for Ablos Survey Wizard but I will show you how to add a message. So I will now delete one and now I will add the GGA stream. So we have to find it in this list and you can set the rate but 1 hertz is very good and then you can add modify and then it's added. For Ablos Survey Wizard you need the GST and GGA stream and after that you can click on configure. Now it says successful and then we can click back and now we already configured the SP80 to work well with Ablos Survey Wizard. So we can click on OK and OK and then Ablos Config Wizard uh, closes because it don't work. So now the Spectra SP80 is configured. It will send out the NMA strings GGA and GST through Bluetooth. So it will now work with Ablos Survey Wizard but we will still need to connect both great land survey products. So let's go outside to see how to connect. So let's see how to connect outside. I just turned on the SP80. As we already can see, it receives about 23 satellites. I open the Applos Survey Wizard. I go to Connect. We have to find the SP80. I just press Allow. It says Searching. It says Scan Stop. And here in my image, I can see the SP. Selecting that one, it says pairing, pair with the SP, yes, 
I say, okay. Pairing succeeded. I'll select in the menu the SP. Whilst connecting, I already entered the NTRIP data. And so I'm now going to connect to the SP80. Press on connect. Automatically it says the connection is made with the Bluetooth device. You can land survey with Apple Survey Wizard and the Spectra SP80 Genest receiver. Apple Survey Wizard also works with the Spectra SP60. Only the way to connect is a bit different from connecting with the Spectra SP80. If you want to connect the Spectra SP60 to Apple Survey Wizard, then check out this video next to us. If you like this video, then subscribe and enjoy using the Applos Survey Wizard.